Okay guys, so you want to bring it in? We're going to do more or less the same, all right? But just what happens when a pander actually puts pressure on the knee slide, okay? So same again, put it close to the hip, put them out, plug it, bring the grip to you, grab it onto the collar, okay? Now, a lot of the time, the guy is just going to like try to put pressure on us here, okay? And this is when usually he's going to start, yeah, going towards the knee slide here, all right? But now, what's important, if you go back just a step, so once he, when he's here, guys, okay? He doesn't have his hand to post onto the mat, okay? But so even as he starts to put the pressure down with the knee here, okay? Like, even if his base is heavy, I'm still gonna be able to sweep him. The key is, is that I need to make sure that his hand is posted onto the mat, all right? So if I try to like come up here, like it's gonna be a hard battle, right? Like for me, especially here, like I'm not gonna win this fight, right? Paul's too strong here. So I need to make sure that I, I test his balance. Two ways I can do it. I can do it with the leg that's in between his legs, almost going like a reverse telehiva, kind of like give him a kick up the arse, <laughs> send his weight, right? Or if you feel like your leg is too stuffed here, what you can do is, right, if you sit down real heavy on the knee slide, exactly. My top knee, right, is going to go into his ass. Same again, lift the ass up, set the weight here. As soon as his hand is on the mat or his head, that's when I can come up. I said to come up onto my elbow, pull that collar down, lift the leg up. Drive, 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 and then back, same position again, to set the pass, okay? But that's the key, it's just make sure his hand posts to the mat, okay? So I'm here, have my grips, kick him out, sit up, I'm here, right? He starts, yeah, immediately pressure for the knee slide, okay? So even if he sits on the heavy, one thing I don't want them to get is the underhook, right? If he gets the underhook, he's, he can smash through here, right? Set to break his grip, come on through for the pass, right? Exactly, right? So, when I'm down here, when I'm in this position, I need to make sure my elbow isn't flared up so he has space, so I keep it tight. But even if Paul starts to dig it there, he won't be able to. And then it's in that time where I can start to use my knee behind his ass. As soon as his hand goes onto the mat, I start to come up, drive onto the knees. You don't even have to come onto the feet, guys. Just once you're on the knees, have him here. You can either just knock him over or you can start to attack the back. It's up to you, okay? But well, for now, just focus on the sweep, okay? If you get comfortable with that, then you can start attacking the pack, all right? Any questions, guys, just call me over on two. One, two.